um, I decided to come on early and um, go ahead and get started working on this because I was going to sit out here and work on it anyway. So I decided I might as well just go ahead and go live. So I'm a little bit early, but um, I'm not going to worry about it if people don't show up for a while. I got too much stuff everywhere. I thought I would just um, go ahead and work on this while um, while we wait for people to come in. And I won't start doing the, the tapestry weaving stuff until, um, until 6. That way I don't have to. Uh, that way I won't be, you know, starting before people are ready. Hi, Teresa. I'm glad you're here. How are you doing today? I actually got a couple of things done I wanted to do today. That makes me happy because lots of times I don't get things done that I want to do. So, so I'm glad I got I got my Shetland breed study finished. Now I just got to get it all the videos put to, edited together and and get it uploaded. I'll try to have that one ready to come out on Friday. And I started a new breed study. And I don't know how long it'll take me. Hopefully not as long as this one did. Hi, Holly. I'm glad you're here. I also have a new project I'm wanting to do. I don't know um, how fast it'll get done, but um, but I got a new a new thing I um, that I want to do to use up my scraps. I saw um, Joey Defee using a a composition book that she had um, is it's almost like making a whole bunch of master boards in a composition book but she just did collage using up her scraps in this composition book and then she would take those pages out and use them in her journal to do different things in her journal which I thought was really smart hi Brittany I'm glad you're here they rescheduled to Wednesday okay well we'll hey Brittany We will continue to pray for her and for her doctors that it goes well. Anyway, I got... Um, I got those couple of things done today, so that made me feel good. I felt like I feel like I'm just behind in every every area of my life right now. <laughs> just behind, everywhere behind, behind. Um, and I'm trying not to feel that way because you can only do what you can do, but that's how it feels. And there's not, you know, any part of it that I want to that I want to give up. I don't want to give up my weaving. I don't want to give up my spinning. I don't want to give up my paper crafting. I don't want to give up live streaming. I feel like I've almost given up doing videos for the most part, but I really don't want to. I want to do more videos. So I'm thinking maybe that um, that scrappy paper thing project will be done on videos. We'll see. Some of it might get done, you know, in the living room while I'm watching TV with Darren. Of course, that's when I tend to do my spinning. So, oh, how do we fit it all in? Okay, I need to wind this up a little bit. 
what I'm going to do is turn that that way and that'll loosen this right over here and then I can just let it come down and then on this end I um, wind it towards me and that wasn't enough so I'm going to do it again and now we'll wind it towards me there we go I feel like I can't decide if this is crooked or if I've got it sitting on the table crooked it feels like it's crooked because see here right here this edge is crooked Mm. I'm making it worse. I've got I'm looking in the camera and it's backwards. <laughs> making it worse, making it worse. I'm not going to I just need to quit worrying about it and just weave and don't worry about it. Whatever happens, happens. So, Mina, hi. I'm glad you're here. Gail, good to see you. It's been a while. I'm glad y'all are both here. Thank you. This is some of my um, hand spun yarn. And the the warp is um, a green. And then the weft is what I call um, crazy quilt yarn or scrap yarn. I just took bunches of scraps of wool and and spun it into yarn and that's what I'm using um, to make the let me show you that's what I'm using to make the scarf let's unwind it here and I'll show y'all I can back up and show you kind of what it looks like so far So I think it's going to be really pretty. Now I've got to put it back this way so I can actually pay attention while I'm winding it on. I don't usually um, unwind it. But I wanted you to be able to see what it's like. Thank you. Hi, Sherry. I'm glad you're here. I think it's turning out really nice. <clears throat> I hope that the friend I'm making it for it likes it. I think she will because we have kind of the same taste and in, in stuff. So Barbara I'm glad you're here yeah I decided I was gonna sit out here and weave until it was time to start and I thought I might as well just go ahead and start um, and I can just weave on this until uh, while everybody's coming in and I won't start the tapestry stuff till six o'clock because I don't want to start before somebody might want to see it that's not expecting me to be here till six so I'm about to run out of weft on this shuttle. That's all right. I got another one all ready to go. And then I can um, I can put more on here. I don't know how much um, 
warp I have left, so I don't want to um, it looks like not a whole lot, but it's hard to tell. Well, four or five more wraps worth, so probably enough that I could go ahead and fill another one. I hadn't had time to make a cartoon for my um, frame loom weaving project. So I'm going to do that tonight first thing. So it'll um, may disappoint some people who are expecting um, expecting me to start weaving right away because I won't be starting right away. I've got to, got to do that. I think it's the angle of the camera that makes it look, everything look wonky. Oh, well, we're not going to worry about it. Going to start making dinner in and out. That's fine, Holly. That is perfectly fine. Alrighty. One thing, um, when I'm making something like this that I'm going to wet finish, um, I go ahead and um, overlap some. And then I just leave these tails hanging out. And after it's wet finished, when it's fulled and it'll stay put good, then I clip these off. Hi, Janice. I'm glad you're here. Howdy do. We're just going to weave um, like this till more people get here before we start on our tapestry stuff. Because I know I started, I got on early, but... And I come on kind of early anyway. I know people, it's right at supper time for a lot of people. And um, I'm sorry about that. But it makes makes it easier for me to stay on longer if I come on early than if I came on. When I came on at 7, I was getting off too late. and I decided I didn't really want to get off that late. So... <laughs> I'm going to move into the kitchen with my iPad and start a new quilt block. Cool, Barbara. That sounds wonderful. I don't know. Y'all probably have all heard me say this before, but if I'm really enjoying this little loom. I know the scarf will be kind of narrow, but um, I think the next thing I do want it are going to be mug rugs. I think that'll be fun. I enjoy seeing that because you do it a little bit differently than you do a scarf. Oh, Bishop, I'm so happy to see you. You didn't have to give me money for me to be happy to see you, but I'm happy to see you. You're amazing, too. I'm glad you're here. Do a happy dance, a happy dance. Bishop's in the room. Glad you're here, sweetie. Thank you so much. You're so generous. I don't know how much of the weaving we've been doing that you've been able to watch, but um, I do have a playlist. If, you, if you've missed it, you can go back and see what we've done on the playlist. I was going to show Gail, so I'll show you too. Whoops. This is one that we did and um, we finished it last week and started warping a new, a new loom, a frame loom that we're going to work on some tonight. But, uh, 
This is the first one that we've done. And then I've got one here that we're still working on. That's going to take more time. So we'll work on it back and forth in between all these other things. Hi, Tanya. Thanks for coming and saying hi. Go make some beads. Yeah, that's important. I'm so happy when y'all come in and I'm happy when it's been a while and I haven't seen you and then I get to see you again. That makes me happy. Tomorrow, Tanya and I are going to start a new project <clears throat> with colored pencils. And I think we're both using the back side of mixed media paper for our project. But um, you can use whatever kind of paper you like to color on. Um, Tanya and I, neither one, are really big fans of colored pencils. And we're trying to find a, a way to... Um, to use them that we enjoy. And this looked like something we thought we would enjoy. So two o'clock tomorrow at Tanya's channel, we'll, we'll get started with that. Any kind of color you want to use. Um, regular colored pencils, watercolor pencils, ink tents, pencils, um, charcoal pencils, Stabilo pencils. I've even got some um china marker pencils china pencils <laughs> i don't know what you call those china marker pencils is that right um anything you've got just pull them out and we're going to play with it tomorrow thank you gail hi mindy i'm glad you're here i've got your happy mail in just a minute i'm gonna um open it and do something in my everything book with it i also have a a piece of um, something that Hannah made that she didn't want. She didn't like it good enough to keep. So those are the things I get. So I'm going to put that in my everything book. And then I got a few things at the thrift store I thought I'd show you too. So we'll do that before we start on our weaving project. What should we use the pencils on? Um... Well, Tanya and I are both using mixed media paper. I would use it on whatever paper you have that's got a little bit of sturdiness to it. And we're both using white. You wouldn't have to use white, but um, we're both using mixed media paper. Okay, that. Let's see if we can get that to... There, that's okay. That'll look fine. See that big old splotch? It just barely looks like anything. Um, once you, if you get it in between the the warp yarns, it um it goes right in there. That's one thing about um, hand spun yarn if you've got hand spun yarn and you don't think it's all that great you don't think you like it you just need to weave with it because it all looks good when you're weaving I'll show y'all when we get started tomorrow some pages I did on other kinds of paper and they turned out okay that they looked bad it's just that the mixed media paper is easier to use <coughs> <coughs> so if you don't have mixed media paper don't be afraid to do the project um, it's just a little easier to color on than some of the other papers hi Linda I'm so glad you're here
I'm working on weaving this scarf. Um, I haven't worked on it since the last time I wove on it with y'all. I keep thinking I'm going to do it in the evening, but I've been spinning in the evening while I watch TV with Darren instead of instead of weaving. So I decided I'd get some of it done while while we're waiting on everybody to get here. I really like this part in here. It's like there's so many different colors. A lot of the pieces have big, you know, big pieces um, with the same color for a long ways. But right in here, it's not. It's a bunch of little bits of different stuff and in small, small amounts. And that's fun. One thing about this, um, this scarf is that because of the way I spun the yarn, there's so many different bits that are interesting in here. Hi, Janice. I'm glad you're here. And even, you know, there's probably colors in here you wouldn't normally think you were going to put in a scarf together. But because of the way the yarn is done, um, it looks okay. And, you know, all together in this scarf. So. Okay. I keep, I keep messing with the. Trying to get it straight, and you know I can't do anything straight. I don't know why I keep trying to make it straight. Hi, Cheryl. And I think I already said hi to Janice Glines, but just in case I didn't, I'm glad you're here too. We got two Janices, and so it... Um, I want to make sure they both know I'm happy to see them. I did say hi to you, Cheryl, didn't I? <laughs> I, was like, I was worrying about the two Janices. I'm not sure I said hi to Cheryl. Oh, my brain, my brain. You don't use this on your app when you're in the house, or do you? Um, yes, in the house, I use it on my lap. Yes, I do. Out here, I've got it up on a table just so y'all can see it. Um, but in the house, I use it on my lap, yeah. And when I get the other scarf on the bigger one, I'll bring it out and show you it too. But um, I've still got to finish some kitchen towels I started on that one before I can put the other scarf on it. Um, I may Maybe next Monday I'll have it out here at the beginning and work on those kitchen towels a little bit. It's not as much fun as this because it's just the same thing over and over and over. Lurking and working on ornaments. That's great, Janice. Hi, Brenda. I'm so glad you're here. If you like repetitive, meditative, relaxing kind of things, once you get the loom warped, weaving is, is like that. It's, it's really relaxing. Um, warping it is, well, a rigid handle loom like this is not hard to warp. And so it's not as difficult as the big floor loom. So it's not, it's not stressful. Warping the big floor loom is stressful to me. 
haven't done it enough, I guess, for it to just feel normal. Plus, it hurts my back. And Hannah has to do a lot of it for that reason. Right now, she's got so many things going, so many irons in the fire, as my mom would say, that um, she's got a lot of irons in the fire. I think next semester, maybe it won't be so, so much. I think she's decided to just take the guitar and the accounting classes next semester and not do the music theory classes. Most of the music theory stuff she's enjoyed, but there's one portion of it that's not much fun for her. And so, and you can't do without that. If you're going to do it, you got to do all of it. So, but she's got the books so she can go ahead and learn the stuff she really enjoys from the books. So, I think she'll be fine and she'll still get to get to learn that stuff. So. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Gail. I like to watch people weave. Um, I like to watch people spin. Of course, I like to watch people do almost anything, so. I like to watch people glue stuff down. I like to watch people color. I, I like to watch. I like to watch people do stuff. <laughs> That's what it amounts to. Mm. Okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside. and um and show you um do the happy mail since mindy's here and um show you hannah's little thing that she didn't like that she's gonna let me have <laughs> put those in my everything book and then i'll show you my little thrift store excursion oh where am i gonna put this you know i've done a lot of stuff but i still end up with no place to put stuff Okay, there we go. <coughs> Let's put these over here. This is um, the first thing Hannah did with oil pastels. I think the face is really, really well done. I really like it. Um, she wasn't impressed with it. She wants to, you know, try again. But I really like the face, and so I'm going to, you know, put it um, put it in my book. I'm going to have to put some wax paper or something over the top of it, though, where it'll, it'll um, mess up the other page, whatever other page there is. Let's see. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to have to trim it. Okay, let's let's mark it. Oh, thank you, Holly. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the day, Brittany. Some days I would rather watch other people do stuff more than I want to do stuff myself. And some days I just want to do something. Let's move that up there so I can get out my paper cutter. Where is it? There. Oh. The flip through of my um, tea bag journal. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna upload that. I'm not sure. Probably it it'll be on there tomorrow. Um, oh, that got. <laughs> These are oil pastels, and Hannah's never worked with oil pastels before. Um, neither have I really, except in a little bit of mixed media way. I've added them into mixed media once or twice, but. Uh, 
Um, I do that, and then I'm going to have to cut another one. So, ah. Do you or Hannah have hairspray that will act as a fixative? I have a, you know, a pump hairspray. Um, that's a good idea. And I've used hairspray as a fixative for things before. But, um. a good idea I even have some workable fixative that's what I need to do just put the workable fixative on it okay oh no I got to cut it other ways too I'm going to leave her she always does a swatch um, okay, let's see. Let's see if that'll fit. Yeah, okay. She does do awesome art. She really does. Art and writing are her two, um, the two things that are really her passion. Um, I think what I'm going to do is set this outside and spray that workable fixative on it real quick and let it sit and dry. And then, um, oh, that's a good idea. I was going to put it on the page, but I'll just put it on this. So let me do that real quick and let that sit out there and dry. And then I will um, come back and put it in. We'll work on um, we'll work on Mindy's Happy Mail while we're letting this dry. Hopefully I have that workable fixative in here. There it is. Okay, be right back. Okay. A very, very rare thing is happening outside my house right now, which works out perfect for what I just did. There is no wind. I mean, it's still, that just is so rare. Y'all just don't have any idea how rare that is. <laughs> oh, it's a cool, rare thing, but it's rare. Someday you will look back on it in the future and say, yes, you did this on this date. <laughs> um, I did some oil painting. I guess I should bring them out and show y'all sometime. Some oil paintings. The year I was pregnant with Hannah, um, they were water-based oil paintings. And so, um, so they didn't have the, um, the odor that regular oil paints have. But I haven't done anything with oil paint since, and I even got rid of my oil paints. Um, 
Okay, I had a thing I just found. Where did I put it for opening stuff? <laughs> I just found it earlier today. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was going to say, good grief, Lisa. Okay. Now, isn't that cute? I love the way she writes my name really big. Makes me feel special. And this is um, really strong craft paper type envelope. I don't know if she made it or bought it, but it's really nice. It says, uh, Lisa, thanks so much for teaching loom work. We knew you a great Thanksgiving. Hugs, Mindy. Thank you, Mindy. Um, I love teaching loom work. I'm just glad there are people who actually want to learn it. <laughs> so thank you for wanting to learn it. Oh, I got one of those papers too. I have to admit, I was hoping when I saw Tanya's, I was hoping. I love those ladies. Can't wait to use them. We might use one of them here. I don't know. We might. And here's a, a goody filled little pocket. It's actually a double pocket. She's got a, a tea, tea bag tag. So this is like a tea bag full of goodiness. Here's a cute little pumpkin. Isn't that cute? I'm going to get a different page because this is the... Um, what do you call that? No, I need to do it in this one because I don't do much in this one. Ooh, that'd be pretty. Yeah, this stuff will look gorgeous on there. Yes, yes. Okay. And let's see what else we've got. We've got a little, a little turkey peeking at us. And another cute little pumpkin. These are like a torn version, I think, of the ones that Becky was doing. She used punch outs. But I really like this better. Um, of course, I'm a tear girl. I like to tear things. So <laughs> I like to tear things. Oh, look here. It's got a green leaf for his tail feathers. I love it. The card on the back is pretty cute, too. Whoops. And then there's a cute little gobble gobble with some, um, some glittery, I don't know if you can see the glittery, pretty glittery glue stuff on it. Very cute, very cute. I'm going to stick that back in there. I'm going to let it stick out some. And I'm going to tuck this in here. Uh, nope, we're going to do it like that so the gobble gobble won't get mashed. And we're going to put this. No, it doesn't show up good enough. Yeah, we'll just tuck him back in here. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because I want to use these on the page. Let me find some scissors. I'm going to um, cut him out. And then put it inside that pocket. And I'm also going to put the little note she wrote in the pocket. Hmm, it's hard to do it where this looks, okay, we'll do it like that. We got two turkeys peeking out at us. And I'm going to put this note, and I'm going to leave it with the words up because it's pretty. And that way, 
actually I'm going to take this out and put it on the page and let that stick out like that. Happy fall, y'all. I like that too. Okay. So we're going to put this on here. And we're going to put um, the pumpkins. I'm trying to figure out the best way to put the pumpkins. Maybe one behind and one in front. I think I like that. And gobble, gobble up here. Just in case we can't figure out from this that it's Thanksgiving stuff, we're, <laughs> we're going to put this up here. And I'm going to save these for something else. I don't know what. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But there's seven ladies here I could use in something. And they're just beautiful. Um, thank you so much, Mindy. I love it. I love all of it. Let me figure out um, how to glue this now. Janet! So glad you're here, Janet. How are you doing? How are things going at your house? Oh, I love the, I love everything. I love all of it. Of course, fall is my favorite time of year. So all the fall stuff is makes me very happy. And the ladies make me happy to have something like that to use at a future time because I don't have anything like those ladies. Don't have anything like them, so... Oh, I'm so glad. I hope that means things are going good for her and her parents. Thank you, Cheryl, for letting us know. I'll go back and um, watch the replay. Hi, Riri. So glad you're here. She always has a fun stream. I just didn't, I wasn't even on the computer this morning. It was like too much stuff to do. Had to take Ethan to jury duty this morning and then take Hannah to class and then go get some um, things my mom needed and a couple of things that I needed and then go back and pick Hannah, um, go back and I'm trying to think how it went. Pick Hannah up from school and then go pick him up from jury duty and then take her to work. <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of myself for getting anything done today. Okay. There we go. Thank you for the goodies for a lovely page. Ladies, for some other lovely stuff later on. Yay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Makes me happy. <laughs> Super mom. I'll tell you. I don't feel like Super mom. I just feel like barely got it together, mom. <laughs> oh, but I do the best I can. That's all we can do. 
All of you moms, you know what I mean. Oh, thank you, Janet. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, oops, maybe not. Okay, I'll have to do that later. <laughs> it won't let me click on it. Maybe it's afraid I'm trying to get out of my own stream. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I need to put those ladies somewhere. Um, somewhere where I will remember where they are because I would like to work on something with them soon. Okay. Uh well, let me go see if that, um, if our fixative is dry. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, I was just checking because it still feels, but but it's not wiping off on my fingers, so I'm going to go ahead and glue it in here and then just let it sit. Lisa, I always do the same thing here, I understand. Yeah, I know you do, Janet. <laughs> our, our lives are similar. <laughs> Super moms always feel that way. It means you're doing right and out of love. Oh, thank you, Holly. That's sweet. Cheryl says, I used to take my daughter in a cab in the morning since I did not drive. That was fun. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Anyway, I need to write on here. This is Hannah's first oil pastel picture. Because I didn't write that down, that it was the first one. But I need to do that. Okay. When you're moms, you do what you have to do to get things done. That's true, Cheryl. That is exactly that is exactly true. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way and let it dry somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Uh oh, no, don't fall off on the floor. Okay. All righty. Um, next, I want to show you a couple of things. Um, when Tanya was here, um, she brought a package. Y'all probably remember that um, she brought a, a package that um, Helen and her Pacola Art is um, her name on, on YouTube. She sent a package with Tanya, one for Tanya and one for me to open while Tanya was here. And in that package was a $10 gift card to Hobby Lobby. And I had never spent it because when I got it, we were in a no spend time. And then I just kept not thinking to take it, you know, put it in my purse and take it. Well, Hobby Lobby had the um, die cuts and Tim Holtz stuff on 40% off when I was in there Friday. So... I don't usually buy Tim Holtz stuff like this, but I always think it's beautiful. So I bought this because I love the little birds. And then I bought this 
And so, um, so this is what I bought with that um, ten dollar gift card. I think it was an extra thirty five cents <laughs> by the time you took ten dollars off of this. So I'm looking forward to using this. I like the leaves and little flowers and things as well as the birds. So, um, so I'm happy about that. And then um, there's a ton of stuff in here. Um, do y'all want to look at it or do you want me to just do it like this and call it, call it good? <laughs> it might take a minute to look at all the stuff that's in here. So y'all let me know if you want to look at what's in here, we will. Otherwise, I'll just set it aside. And then I also went um, went to a thrift store the other day and found a few things. Um, one of the things I found was this architectural vocabulary knowledge cards, which I think are very interesting. Brittany says, I want to see it. Mitzi says, nice choices. Sherry says, I use that stuff all the time if I can find it. Okay. Well, since um, Brittany wants to see it, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you what's in here. That way I can see what's in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's see how many pieces does it say? That's one thing about these. They, This is... Um, the normal price is $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. So they're not really expensive, which I really like. I just really like getting my images out of books if I can. Um, 134 pieces. So Riri and Mina want to see it too. Okay. Open, open, Cheryl says. Okay. I'm just going to do a quick um, run through. But these are, these are just right up my alley. These are the kinds of things I really like to work with. So, you know, the kinds of images. So I thought it would be um, something I might use. I have, it's like I get the few things I have of Tim Holtz stuff, I just hoard them. <laughs> and so I need to actually, I don't know, do a journal that's all Tim Holtz stuff or something. I don't know. Um, because I do tend to hoard them. And I need to stop hoarding them and start using them. There's a pretty good variety of things in here, better than I thought. I didn't know there were any toadstools or mushrooms or whatever. Um, and I'm really happy to have those because I love them. And some bugs. Whoops. I'm trying to just put, you know, some of them up here all at the same time so you can see. See them a little bit quicker than going through them one at a time. There are a lot of mushrooms in here. That's exciting. This is a good package. Because that's something I don't have a lot of. This is just says field, field notes. Um, Let's see what it says. Yeah, field notes is what it's, it's just in other languages. Ephemera pack. And it's $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. Of course, I pay that because it was 40% off, which is the only time I ever buy any of this stuff. <laughs> it's got to be on sale. It's got to be on sale. Even some cute bugs. I don't know why I'm worrying about keeping them upright. I don't need to worry about that. I just need to throw them over there because there's too many of them to, um, to worry about trying to be precious with them. There is a lot. There's a lot. Yeah.
And, you know, that's supposed to make you um, be willing to use them because there's so many of them. It's not they're not precious, you know, but I still tend to hoard them in my Timmy box instead of using them. <laughs> so I got to get out the Timmy box and make a journal from the Timmy box. Oh, boy. Lots of butterflies and mushrooms. I, I really love those. And the flowers. I just love it all. Yep. I love it all. Some more mushrooms. I mean, butterflies. Mushroom. Stamps. I like all these little kinds of little things, too. They go in collage really well. Yeah, this is a this is a really great package. Um, I tend to prefer, you know, real ephemera to this kind of stuff if I can find it, but you can't always find stuff. So um, there's no reason to to not use these when they're available and they're easy and they're not that expensive, really. And, and just not worry about it, you know, coming out of a real book or a real document or whatever. These these were at once <laughs> from a real real things. Um, a lot of them, maybe not all of them. I like these little labels. Um, that's something I don't have. I don't have many of those kinds of things. So that's. Um, that's really nice too. Yeah, so far I'm really happy with this. Um, it was a good, a good $5.99 um, gift card purchase. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mama. Um, they liked your um, oil, your oil painting, oil pastel painting. Oh, do you want me to get the sketchbook? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just want to bring you. I'm about to start mopping, so be careful. You have to come in through the. Uh, okay, I don't plan to come in for a while. Okay. Ooh. Get the sketchbook first. Isn't that pretty? That's like a cover of a book. That's really pretty. If you had a really small journal, you could just put this, you know, and let it kind of be the cover. And then here's, I like that too. And numbers, I love numbers. And here's botanicals. And I may be wrong, but a lot of the things I showed you individually, I think are actually images off of these. Um, I, I recognize a bunch of them. I don't know if they're all in there or not. I don't remember seeing this one, but I recognize a bunch of these. Here, while I look, show off your book, you can... Okay, there's a pencil in there on the one page I haven't bothered. To okay, you can put them back in that thing and look at them at the same time. Okay, this is Hannah's oil pastel playbook, sketchbook. Try stuff out, whatever you want to call it one I'm fooling around in. The one she's fooling around in, yeah. Of the ones I've seen, this one's my favorite. I just think that's beautiful. She just barely started this Sunday? Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, I did most of it Saturday night. So she hadn't, she hadn't got a lot done. She did most of it on Saturday. But um, this is a book and it was half price at hobby lobby when we got it yeah. is it master's touch yes yeah, the master's touch brand which was among the stuff we had the best thing i found for using past oil pastel on which is and it's a mixed media paper no that's no? the sketchbook sketchbook okay this is a master's touch sketchbook it's got a cloth cover on it it is really cool yeah anyway oh there's a butterfly thank you hannah
Cheryl says, thank you for sharing. Sherry says, beautiful Hannah, thank you for sharing. Oh, good night, Janice. I hope you can rest your eyes. I hope things will get better. Oh, now it clears up. <laughs> well, it may still need to rest. It may still need to rest. Brenda says, thank you so much for sharing your art. Oh, oh sorry. On yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I'm using this paper fingers because I didn't bother to wax paper in it yet. Would you stick this up there in that white box that has stuff stuck up in it? Oh, you're hoarding, aren't you? Yes, that's my Timmy box. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna not hoard. I'm gonna not hoard. I know I'm already hoarding, but I'm gonna get better. She just looked at me and gave me that, yeah, mom, you're not hoarding look. You know the look. If you have a daughter, you know the look. <laughs> if you are a daughter, you know the look because you gave it to somebody. These, these are architectural cards. So I'm really excited to see, see what they're like. Is anybody else having troubles with the video um, besides Janice? Brenda says, yes, I know the look. <laughs> mm. She'd given me that look at 13. She'd have gotten in trouble for being disrespectful. But at 19, it's different. <laughs> at 19, I can take it. <laughs> okay, so you've got a picture of the whatever it is in the name, Portico. And then there's um, there's descriptions of what it means. These would be fun to um, buccranium. <laughs> Seriously? From the Greek goat or ox skull. Oh, it's a sculpture decoration. Those guys go, that's not an architectural piece. Okay, why don't y'all, um, if you're having trouble, why don't you go and um, see what what um, what quality you've got. If you've got a low quality, up your quality and see if it's better. Because um, I'm linked directly in to, and we've got fiber optic now, so... It really shouldn't be a problem from here. Um, that doesn't mean, but yeah, change your setting. They've gotten to where um, they're they're lowering the settings on things for everybody, and I don't know why they're doing that. Anyway, this might be a fun kind of um, pick ten to do to just pick out cards. And draw these things and then try to make them work together. Anyway, what do y'all think about that? This is... Hi, Joan. I'm glad you're here. Are you having trouble at that setting, Joan? Because I know sometimes if you have it set too high, you have that issue as well. I like, I see people the best at, at 480 or 720 on my computer. Okay, we're gonna do these really quick and get them out of the way here. Okay. It was set at 144, okay. Hmm. 
I don't know, Teresa. Um, if it is from here, I there's not anything I can do about it because um, I'm already at the best I can do with the, um, you know, having it plugged directly into the internet instead of using the Wi-Fi. That's the best I can do. So if it gets to be too annoying, we can quit. Okay. Anyway, there's that. And then I got at the thrift store. I think I paid um I think I paid two dollars for those. And then I found this book. And I think this will make a beautiful journal. Hannah says that looks like an eighteen hundreds Harlequin romance. Eighteen <laughs> hundreds style Harlequin romance. <laughs> Oh, so let's look and see when it was actually published. Um, 1888, so she was right. For love and honor, Jeffrey started to his feet as if electrified as these unexpected words fell upon his ears and found himself face to face with a man of perhaps 50 years. His facts seemed and browned by hardships and exposure, rough in appearance, uncouth in dress, and with an ancient alert air about him which conveyed the impression that he feared being identified and apprehended for some reason or another. <laughs> anyway, I thought it would make a beautiful journal. And then, you know, old book pages are, but um, I got this at the thrift store where, that has all their books. Oh, this is the, the little bit that's left of the book cover. Cool. I love that. I didn't realize that was even in there. So I thought that was a good dollar. And then I got this for a dollar. The 2009 Linnea poster calendar. A different poster for each month. I thought this these might work for um, envelopes. But I haven't opened it to see if they really will or not. So let's see. Oh, thanks, Janet. It must just be the internet, yeah. Okay, let's figure out how we open this. So here we got a ready-made envelope right there. <laughs> Probably that's too... Um, it's not sturdy enough for the um, for the size of it to go through the mail good but I I do I have been really lucky that way in fact I've got more books than I can probably make journals it's probably a sh um, wrong for me to have all of them but okay this is what they look like and they're they're nice and sturdy I think they would make pretty um, pretty envelopes I thought one of them might work. I don't know if it will or not, but let me get it and see. If one of them would work to be my, um, what do you call that thing? My cartoon for my, um, for my weaving. I don't know. You'd have to just pick, you know, the portion you like. But I think it's they're the right size. So we'll see if I find one I want to use. I had planned to draw leaves, but... Okay, Joan. Oh, that's pretty. It's got leaves. That actually would probably be nice. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Some leprechauns, I guess, for March. April's Fool, Jack in the Box. 
May. So we're going to do spring cleaning, I guess, here. Oh, this is cute. I love this one. That may be too, too adventurous for me to do. Hmm. I really like that, though. Hmm. I think that would be a fun tapestry, but it's probably, um, I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie. I don't, I don't think I can do that one, but maybe later. Ooh, those are pretty. Ice cream cones. Oh, that one would be busy. That's not my style. An eggplant. We could do an eggplant. Could you do less details on that one? I might could. We might could work the eggplant. Well, this is from 2009, so it's not an antique, but, oh, that would be fun, too. This would be difficult to do, but I guess I could just do it black. Hmm. Interesting. Here's January from 2010. I like the idea of the bowls. I should, well, I could bring this down a little bit. I bet I could. I bet I could. Let me find my fork. <laughs> Let's see if we can make this just a little bit bigger. We can adapt some. Can't tell if I've got it. Okay. This one would be too difficult for me to do, but I could get, you know, three bowls and a bird maybe on there. That's worth thinking about. Okay, let's go back because I think this one would be fun too.
I think that's a little ambitious for me at this point in my weaving. I'm not as sure of myself as Mary is. She's She drew a very ambitious one for hers, and I have no doubt she can do it, but I, I don't think I'm that ambitious. Holly likes the yeah. I think this one is doable for me because there's not quite as much to it. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can get this. I would have to cut off quite a bit of it to get it to fit in there. Um, now I've got to think, do I have yarn? I could do this and, and I could do this with the uh, green like I warped the um, scarf with. I have some more of that. But I, you really need two greens, a light green and a darker green. But we may just um, do it green and <laughs> be simple with it. And then a, a red and a yellow. This color could be the same as those. It looks like it is here. Yeah, um, the bolds actually would be the easiest one to do because there's not this skinny stuff. You know, they kind of go off the edge, which I guess is fine. That doesn't, um, because I could make my bowls solid or I could make them striped or whatever. They, I don't have to use the patterns. I would like to try this pattern. This one I wouldn't even try. I would just do, you know, a stripe or something. Um, I really think I'm more comfortable with this or I want to draw my own and do a, a, a big leaf or a couple of big leaves. So what do y'all think? Should I draw my own and do leaves or should I use this? Tell me what you think. I'm not promising I'll do what you say, but I am interested to know what you think. Y'all like the bowls? Okay. The thing with the bowls is I'm going to have to put them onto another piece of paper. So they will be in the right place and will stay good under here. Because I want it to slide in up here. As far as up as it'll go. Like right up to that. But if I do that with this, it, um, you know, I have to have it down here because I want the whole bird in there. So I need to put something else on the back of this to make it um, work better. So let me think about what that might be.
Yeah, I think the bowls are pretty. Um, they might not end up being these colors because, you know, I have what I have. <laughs> Both sound good. Do we dare ask draw leaves so we can compare? <laughs> um, actually, that's probably what I need to do for my own self, for my own um, thoughts about it, is to draw leaves and, and see what I think. So let's do that. And I know this is supposed to be weaving, but drawing your cartoon is part of it. So, so let me find um, something that I think will work good. Oh, just a second. Trying to think what I've got that's big enough and it doesn't have to be sturdy, but I think I want it to be because it'll be it'll stay in place better. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if it's in there. This is what was um what was in there. So that will work perfect. So let's um let's draw um some border lines here. Okay. You could also shorten the stem on the rows to get the bird in there. You mean put a bird on the on the rows? Hmm. Now I've got to think about um, leaves. The heart, I call it a rose. Flower, it's a heart flower. So, um, where would you have the bird? We could almost have the bird sitting right here perched on the. On this. If we do that. Um. What's the name of the calendar? Oh, well, let me just do this. The 2009 Linnea Poster Calendar. 2009 Linnea Poster Calendar. So you might can get, you know, a whole bunch of different ones that are different years. This is just the one I found for a dollar at the thrift store. Okay, 
for right now, I'm going to um, draw some leaves. Let's go ahead and draw my lines. Okay, so I need my, whatever it is to be inside here, a bird sitting or a, or a hummingbird by the flower. Okay, it needs to be simple, y'all. <laughs> needs to be something simple. Um, which is why I was thinking leaves, because they're relatively simple um, compared to other things. Let me see if I can find some leaves in here that oh, do I have? Those are not leaves. Somewhere I have some leaves that I've used on the jelly plate. Uh, oh, let's see if I don't know if this will help me or not. Let's get it out and see. It's got stuff all wound around it. Okay. Oh, come on, get off my head. Okay. One thing about leaves is that I could do different leaves, different colors. I have no idea, but I'm trying to help. I appreciate that. I'm hoping that we can fill in where the, um, where the leaves, um, This may end up just looking like a mess and not actually be helpful.
this is great for the learning for learning this process question how many colors would go into the leaves <coughs> i think you can do it however you want you could actually make all the leaves the same color or you could make each leaf a different color um i think it kind of depends on what you want trying to see what else we've got here Okay, now question, do I want to draw in, I think drawing in the acorns would just be adding a little too much. Leticia, I mean, Jacqueline says, I don't have volume, just lurking while I fall asleep. Happy to watch. <laughs> okay. We might make that one go over it. It's probably what I should do with this one, too. Make that one go over this one. Okay, some of this down here I don't know what is. <laughs> going to make these go over those flat ones. Okay, I'm just going to draw some little things inside so I know where all these leaves are. I don't know if I'll be able to put those veins in them or not, but it helps me. It'll help me figure out where everything is. I'm going to put that one over the top of this and do this over that. Okay. And, um, This stuff down here, I'm going to just not use. Okay. The Linnea cats are great but pricey. Ah, yeah. How much are they, Holly? Okay, I'm going to use a Sharpie now to outline the things I'm going to keep. And actually, I think I'm going to skip this one, too. Okay.
30 goodness oh, i like my dollar a lot better i like my dollar a lot better okay well maybe this isn't gonna work <laughs> okay i just got that out of the package and it's dead Let's see how this one is. All right, this one's better. You got to steal. Yeah, I did. I didn't even know how good I did. I think this one is going to be complicated enough for me to do. <laughs> so I think I'm going to um, do this one first. If we do another one, then maybe I can do one of those others after I've had some practice. I think that is um, plenty for me to try to do. You did not talk, so my computer went to sleep and I lost you. Oh, no. Sorry, Tanya. Now back to work. But I love, love, love the leaves. Thank you, Tanya. The funny farm animals calendar is cute for 2022. Well, you know, if you've got one that you can actually use as a calendar and then next year, you know, after that, it would be worth a little bit more. But one that's already not, you know, too old to use as a calendar, that's, um, okay. Oh, that reminds me, my mom got a Ranger Delusion sticker book from Goodwill for 99 cents. Cool. I didn't even know they had such a thing. They were really awesome planner stickers, and she shared them with you. How cool, Brittany. I'm glad she shared them with you. 2019 is 25. Okay. I think this is what I'm going to use. And um, so... I think Tanya sent me this. Thank you, Tanya, for giving me something I could use in more than one way. Okay. Uh-oh. I just came unplugged. I hope that didn't mess things up. My um, Ethernet cable came unplugged. I do have Wi-Fi out here. It's just not as strong. So I don't think I lost you. It doesn't look like it. It looks like everything's okay. So, yeah, some were bright and colorful delusions colors, and the others were black and white. Cool. 
I usually get funny art-based cat calendar, but every once in a while I get an art-based cat calendar for the artwork. Yeah. Okay. This is what I'm going to do, but just because it'll be easier than these other ones. And um, I, th I think it will be easier anyway. <laughs> I hope it will be easier. Okay. <sighs> You're still here. Okay, good. All right. Now I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it in here. Okay. Now then... There are two things I can do. I can try to weave just with it like this. Or I can go ahead with my Sharpie and bring it up to the front. Um, trying to see how close I am to the right edges. That that actually is really good. Okay. Well, I think um oh, I think I need to try to transfer it. But it's, I'm going to have to go kind of slow. Um, I'm not sure I can. Um, let's just let's just try to start. First of all, I have to decide what yarns I'm going to use. For the leaves. a way to weave those veins in there. I'm not sure I know enough about this to do that very well. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think and thinking's hard. <laughs> Got some um, stuff here and I could do like I could do a leaf with the with this and I could do a, a leaf um, with this and um, you know, one with this, and maybe a little one with this. I'm trying to think if I can if I can even do it with this yarn, or if I need to find some other yarn. That would be interesting. Do what is best for Lisa. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Oh, that's got some pink mixed in with it. Okay. Um, I 
I'm thinking that I would probably do better to work with yarns that are um, all similar in texture for my first one <laughs> instead of working with this stuff. Um, where did I put the other little bag of yarn? You know, I had like a huge amount of tapestry yarns five years ago, six years ago, maybe seven years ago. And um, when my back started bothering me, I thought, I'm never going to use that. And I gave away at the thrift store. And now I really don't have much of anything that um, that is good for this. I'm trying to think what I have that's green that might work. But I would also like, I would like all the leaves to be different colors. You know, at least maybe these two to be one color and all these other ones that are the same could be one color. So even if then that would just be two colors of leaves and then the background. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking I really need, um, I really need some more yarn to do this. I do have, um, I do have the, all the stuff that's in here, but I don't think there's enough of any of it to do a whole leaf. Of course, I could make um, the leaves different shades of the same color. Thank you, Janet. So, like, the green ones could be, um, I really think I need bigger yarn than this, though, because my warp is so far apart. So, what we've got is a case of um, being ready, but not having the yarn. So, I think I'm going to work on this one tonight. And go buy some yarn that I can actually do this with because I want to do it where it's actually works and where I'm happy with it and where y'all can actually learn something instead of just watching me get frustrated um, which is what I'm afraid will happen if I if I try to make do with yarns that aren't really made they're not thick enough to do this Uh, tapestry yarn is wool, and it is typically, um, okay, let me show you. These are both tapestry yarns. So they're, um, they're not quite worsted weight yarns, and they're not even the same, but, um, and you don't have to use tapestry yarn. You can use what you've got. But this is the only yarn. I got, when I started spinning, I pretty much got rid of most of my yarn that wasn't weaving yarn or, um, you know, just um, like the tapestry yarns. I had a ton and I got rid of them. And I totally forgot till I started trying to find them yesterday that I had gotten rid of them. Because I was like, I have a whole bag of this stuff it and um and then i remembered i got rid of it so i thought i was prepared for this yesterday until i couldn't find my yarns and re remembered by Teresa, and remembered that i don't have them now um
trying to think what what do I have? I mean, I do have that green that I warped the. Um, I have some of the. I have this. But this changes colors too often. To um, it's it's the same thing I'm using as weft on that little scarf. I have the green that is the warp on the scarf, so I could use that. I have some cream to use as the background. Um, but tapestry yarn is it's made with wool that's a, too coarse you wouldn't you wouldn't want to um you wouldn't want to wear it you know what i mean you wouldn't want to make a shawl out of it it's another use for wool that you wouldn't want to wear um but you don't have to have tapestry yarn it's just a way to use wool that you wouldn't want to wear um okay where did i put that Let me look here just a second. I'm sorry. Okay, let me just take a quick look through some of my hand spun yarns and see if there's any that I want to sacrifice to this project. But I got to move some stuff to do that, so sorry. If I don't see any, then we're going to just work on the other one and um, and do this one after next time. Oh, dear. Don't skip it. It's not going to stay open. All right. I have some in my box from stuff I did a long time ago that would work well and is not spun as nicely as what I've got in this box but I can't get to it right now no I really don't have any um, okay I'm sorry I'm going to have to find some yarn and um, I'm going to have to find some yarn for this, whether it's in or at the thrift store or at Hobby Lobby before next week, I will do that. And we'll, we'll work on this next week, but I'm going to just work on this one right now because I don't want, um, I don't want to use up part of my hand spun yarn from this and I don't have it schemed if I had it in um let me find it so I can show you if I had it in this form the skeins of yarn then I could just pull it out and we could use some of it but I would have to skein it off so even if I wanted to use it I couldn't use it right now because in a skein it is way too difficult to get the yarn out and use it um so, so we're not going to, sorry. We're going to work on this one. So I, I hope y'all aren't too disappointed. One thing I decided I want to do is use this yarn. And make a heel back here. So that's what we're going to work on right now.
And I am going to use it doubled because it is really fine. So I feel like I've let y'all down and I'm sorry, but um, it's kind of what I have to do at this point. Okay, so what I'm going to do, okay, how did that get all watered up? Is just put that through back there. <coughs> <coughs> oh, thank you, Cheryl. I watched somebody who always tuck their yarn through to the back um, before they started and then they just kept tucking it through to the back every time they changed colors and all of that and um, I realized that that's really a better way to go about it than what I was doing because that way the this can be the front and you'll notice I went ahead and cut off all those strings because they were driving me crazy and there was enough stuff on top of them that um, that I thought I could do that without it causing any problems. Okay. Maybe starting in the middle was this plan. We're just going to do it anyway. Oh, thank you, Riri. Thanks, Holly. It does. It does. It happens. I really like um, working with this small um, small warp that's you know closer together than what we're doing on the frame loom. Um, uh, that's one thing I've discovered doing this is that this is more fun to me than that than that a big warp but i think if i have bigger yarn um i'll enjoy that that one a lot doing the leaves i just need um i just need a bigger bigger yarn to do it with otherwise it'll take me forever and that's fine if i knew enough about how to do this that i could um you know, and and if I wanted to take the amount of time it would take, but I don't think y'all want to watch me weave on something for weeks and weeks. <laughs> the same thing for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, and it would take weeks and weeks and weeks if I used small yarn like this on something big like that hi miss Allie k it's good to see you just enjoying it so much thank you gail i'm glad as creators we all have to make adjustments to our creating it's just the way it is that's true cheryl that is true 
and um and you know when you're here i'm always experimenting and i'm always real um i don't do anything perfectly so if i can come up with a decent result so can you if you don't learn anything else i want you to learn that <laughs> If I can come up with a decent result, so can you. I'm going to go a little bit up, and I think right about here is where I'm going to start going up. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to try to bring that, um, you know, a little bit down here too, so it looks like it's going up from there. That's my thought at the moment. Let me bring this down a little bit. Sorry. Mindy says, Lisa, I went over the weekend and picked up those frames. They look nice sitting on the table. Yay! They look even nicer if you warp them and play. <laughs> they are pretty little looms. And I, I think I'm going to go back and get a bigger one, some bigger ones, so that I can just make little tapestries and leave them in there. Um. I do think I would like to do that, some of that. But the ones I bought, I bought for a specific purpose, and it wasn't tapestry. So. <laughs> and this little loom just works so well. Because of the bowing out, it's it's really easy to use. Um, when I first got it, I thought, that is so fragile. I don't know if I'm going to feel comfortable weaving on it. But it's actually not, maybe not as fragile as I first thought. I seem to be doing okay anyway. Okay, come back over here. You will have to show how to use them. Okay, I will. I'll order some, um, Mindy, and then I can, I can show you. Um, well, I can show you with one of these because I have two. I can keep one for, um, one for a, a sample loom, and and then use the other one to weave a little tapestry on. Let me ask you this, Mindy. Do you want to warp them? Like this one is warped so that you can cut it off and you can tie it at the top and the bottom. Um, or do you want and, and take them off, or do you want to warp them and leave them on here? Oh, cool, Linda. I'll have to look that up. I have I don't know what a Willowdale loom is. Do you want to leave them on or do you want to try to take them off? Because that makes a difference on how, how you warp it. Well, it, it wouldn't have to make a difference, but um, I have made 25 envelopes for my scoreboard while watching you. They'll be turned into loaded envelope stacks. Cool, Brittany. So are you going to use this as a frame, I guess is what I'm asking, Mindy, or are you going to take them off so that you can use them over and over? Um. Well, if you warp it all the way around, you only have about this much to tie off. So it would be hard to do an overhand knot and make the knots look pretty. Um, so I would think for the first one, at least, I would leave it on here. That would be my recommendation. Um course if you twine way up at the top you know if you twine right here and you twine right here um let me just show you what i'm talking about i haven't um i haven't tried to do something tapestry with this so okay i did this one where i pulled the warp through so that it had four finished edges 
which looks really pretty. And if you're using a cotton warp, it should work. You should be able to do that. Um, but it is kind of fiddly. But it looks really nice. But when I did this one, the kind of wool I was using, it wouldn't pull through. And so it looks like a mess. And you don't want this. But like I said, with a cotton warp, you might not have that problem. I just did this one. And I just, um, I just tied knots. But the little ends were just going like that. And they didn't look pretty at all. So I just cut them really short, like a little fringe. Um, like that. Now that might look cute, you know, chopped off like that. Um, but it's coming untied. Anyway, you know, on a journal page, that might look cute like that. I don't know. This one, I just popped off and I didn't even try to pull it. I just left it like this. And if you did this, then you could stick a stick through it. And you could have a stick on this end and a stick on this end, and it would look really cute. Or like a skewer or something. And if you did that, then you could weave your little tapestry and just pop it off the top and pop it off the bottom and stick a skewer through there. I think that would be the prettiest finish, the easiest finish as well. Um, let me, because once you got it off the loom, all you would have to do is take your stick, your skewer or whatever, and go back through the loops. Like that. And then you could put one at the bottom too. And I think that would be really cute. So if you want to do this, then you could save your loom. It wouldn't be lost in the process. You know, it wouldn't have to be stay on here. But you still wouldn't have to try that pull it through method or the tie it off method. I think if, um, if I was working on a loom like this for tapestries, this is what I would do, I think, is leave those loops and then put something in the top and something in the bottom some kind of little stick or something you like that idea okay well i will show you how to warp this um i'll make a video for you mindy i'll make a video on how to warp this and then we'll work on um and i'll put it up i'll try to do it tomorrow or wednesday probably wednesday and then we can work on weaving on it some next monday too will that work for you if I put a warp, little warping video up for you. Because it's not hard to do. It's not hard to do. But then you'll be ready to work on it next Monday. Or you could work on it after, as soon as you get it warped. You wouldn't even have to wait till Monday. Okay, I'll do that. I'll make you a little video. This is my, um, all my samples for my um, Shetland breed study. So, okay. All right. I'm going to leave that sitting down here so I'll remember. <coughs> I don't want to forget. And which size did you end up getting? This is the three inch size. Which size did you end up getting? You got all three sizes. We won't tell anybody. <laughs> all right. 
that. Well, that's that. I think that's a good idea myself. For one thing, you can decide you can do more complex ones on the bigger ones and do, you know, just practice techniques on the smaller ones, like do stripes and then do squares and then, you know, whatever. Um, and they're not that expensive. So I think buying all three sizes is a good idea. I kind of wish I had done that. But like I said, I wasn't thinking about tapestry weaving when I bought them. And I knew I was just going to take them off. So it seemed fine to do the little one. Because this is what fits nicely in my little deals in my book. But the other sizes will be nice to use in other ways. Or to um, frame or put on, you know, center on a small canvas. Or however you want to display them. Put in your journal page, whatever. One thing, if you want to cover up all of your warp, you have to really pack this. So it ends up taking um, more yarn than you would think. Because the warp, you know, in tapestry weaving, the warp is just a like a scaffolding for your painting. It's not part of the, um, you know, what you see. So you have to pack it really good to get rid of it. But it's not that hard to do. But I think that's looking good. That's going to look make a good heel, I think. I think I'm going to go over here. And um, go ahead and do the little part of the heel on this side with this little bit that I have left. And then I'll get another piece to finish working over here. Since I've established that this is the front and that's the back, I can go across the back and not fret over it. <laughs> if I wasn't sure, it would be different. <laughs> okay too big a needle here now for this I wasn't thinking about that when I decided to do this I'm going to have to take this off and yep use the little needle Okay. Okay, I'm going to let this be all of it, and then trim that off. 
Okay. Now that I'm going to have to get some more because that was. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I guess to like that. So I don't have much left to go over here. But I'm going to start with that. And then I'll go back over here and start finishing on my. On my heel. Oh, I'm glad, Janet. It makes me happy that y'all are enjoying um, something else that I love and not just the paper stuff. I love that, too. But it's nice that y'all are enjoying other things that I love. Okay. We're going to. Okay, let's see. Trying to think the best way to do this. Yeah, I'm going to come from back here so I can leave that hanging down back there. Thank you. I'm having fun with it. Um, and I think one of the things I like about doing it, doing what this one is, I can just do whatever I want because I don't have, I didn't have a predetermined plan except to stick a tree in there. So. Okay. Now we're going to go back over here. I don't know if I need to turn on this light. Let me see if I don't know if this will help. Watch out, it might flash. I don't know if that's helpful or not. I don't think that really helps that much. Um, does that help? Or was it better before I turned on that light? Let me know what you think.
So nobody's telling me, is the light better or worse? <laughs> or have you even noticed? Could you also show us the back of that weaving, please? The back of the weaving or the back of the loom? I don't know if you can see the back of the weaving. Um, but this is the back of the loom. <coughs> they just wrapped all the way around Yeah, um, that's the only problem with this kind of loom is you loom is that you can't see the back, and that's why I decided to make it um, make my the front facing me um, instead of doing what most people do with you know what a lot of people do not most people I've seen it both ways, but a lot of people um, leave all their strings out the front. And they let it be the back. Now it is pulling in a little bit. Um, I'm going to go a couple more lines and then I'm going to start going uphill. And I'll show you why in just a second. Okay. Well, actually, I think I'll, I can go across. Um, I can start after this one. And the reason I'm going to start right here and I wanted to come to this point is because I'm going to connect right here. <coughs> Excuse me just a second. Okay, sorry. The reason I've got this big slit here, and I don't want the slit to go all the way up to there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it in here, and that'll close that slit right there. And then whatever I do above this heel, 
it'll be kind of it'll strengthen the structure of the weaving. Okay, so now that I've connected that together, I'm going to um, start going uphill. And I'm going to do that by going over this thread and not doing these two. And I think each pass, or maybe every other pass, I'm not sure, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go up another, um, Okay, it's not go up. Um, I'm going to indent, I guess, another another piece so that it goes up like this. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Something is, oh, this, has a little catch on it. It's catching on my, just a second. Okay. <clears throat> that kept catching on my warp thread and I couldn't figure out why. Well, Tanya, I decided I didn't have the right... Um, I didn't have the right yarn to work on. So we're saving it for next Monday. I'm going to find some yarn. And then um, then we'll work on that one. So we're just going to work on this one tonight. Well, it's catching again. Okay, I gotta check that again. Oh, right there. Maybe I did the wrong side. Yes, I heard, but I was going to say you could stitch in your veins after you weave the leaves. That's true. That's true. And that may be what I do. That would probably make me happier than not having them. Um,
That would add more texture. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would like that. Oh, well, okay. Just see if we can tuck this behind. There we go. I think I'm going to use this needle this time. Sorry, I'm trying to think. Okay. The stuff I put on top of it will lock it in, so I just need to not fret over it. I always try to hold the thread as I'm coming around to um, hopefully keep it from pulling on the warp. Okay, that's bugging me right there. So I want to think about... Do I have something I can put in there for... Some sky to get... Um, I really don't have much... Um, cut this but it's so big and
Okay. That's probably what I should have done when I started the green. But I didn't think of it till just now. Hi, Joy. I'm glad you're here. I'm doing some weaving. Um, building a little tapestry. That green end sticking up every time I was trying to do something else was bugging me. So I decided to go ahead and add in the blue right here. Okay, now we're just going to leave this over here, and we'll keep working it up as far as we can. Then we'll have to switch to a different kind of blue, because um, that's what I've got. Okay, let's try this again. But that's some more of what I've got up here, so it'll be all right for it to be. We'll just make the leaves or whatever we do um, come down <laughs> fill up whatever that doesn't fill up okay We're trying to make a heel back here. Let's 
So we're gradually using less and less warp threads. <clears throat> After I get up a little bit further, I'll do, well, now let's just go ahead. And when we get back over there, we're going to stop on this one and work on the green some more. Anyway, you can see how the blue is following the hill up. <clears throat> I wish I had a bunch more of this because I would like to fill this in completely with the blue. But, <clears throat> but I don't. It's what happens when you're, um, when you're playing with leftover bits of hand spun. You just have whatever little bit you have, and that's all you got. Y'all getting bored? We can stop if you're getting tired. I'm kind of wanting to get this hill built. So I'm, I'm enjoying it, but I just want to make sure you are too. Okay, back to the green.
don't know why we've got a few warp ends showing down here. It doesn't, I don't know. It's not where I added in more yarn, so I'm not sure. Okay, we're just going to leave it like that. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can grab it with this. Okay. been listening while making beads okay i'm about to drop my i need to put this somewhere else or i'm gonna end up messing it up before i even get to weave on it okay okay we're gonna clip this put it in the smaller needle Okay, I got enough of this left to make my make the rest of my heel. Don't have enough blue to finish the sky back there, but I actually don't think I'm gonna need that much. All right. Let's 
go ahead and Oops, let's not knock over my drink. I don't want to do that. Sorry, I don't have any exciting stories to tell while I'm doing this. <laughs> just weaving, just weaving. No, let's not do that again. No, <laughs> no, once was enough. Once was enough. I don't have anybody out here I can holler to come clean it up for me. <laughs> I would have to do it myself. And it would be a lot harder to clean up out here. It would probably, no telling where it would be. No telling where it would be. If you weren't in Tanya's live stream, you missed my debacle. <laughs> oh, dear. One thing, um, oh, I didn't need to go a little more there. One thing about using my scrap yarns is that who knows what it's going to end up looking like. We got it, managed to get our tree, and we managed to get some sky, and we're getting a hill, but the Sky's going to have to change, you know, change colors or something's going to have to happen um, in here. So who knows?
we're about to get this little hill done here. About to, about to. Can y'all see the hill developing? <laughs> right now it looks like my tree has blue warts everywhere, but hopefully when we get some um, leaves and stuff on there, it'll look or it'll look better. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm happy with it for a first try and for having made the decision to use, you know, my scrap yarns, which does make it um, maybe not as easy to do as it would be if I just bought some yarn. But I thought it would be a fun thing to do with my little bits of hand spun that I can't you don't have anything else to do with. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay. Well, that's all I have left, so I did pretty good. <laughs> all right, let me see if, if there's enough of this. I can fill in some sky. down here.
Okay. We will see what we can do with this. Hmm. No. Nope. Okay. There we go. Let's not do it like that. Okay, I'm just filling in some sky here, and um, let's go ahead and go. This is awful close to the tree. I didn't think about that. That it's really close to the same color as the tree. But we're going to just do it anyway. I'll need to go back and watch some of these and see how this looks on the screen because when I'm looking at my screen, it doesn't look um, it doesn't look very good. I mean, you can't really differentiate very much, and that's. That doesn't make me happy because I want you all to be able to, if you're going to be watching, I want you to actually be able to see something. Um, Maybe I don't have to do all of this with my hand spun. Maybe I can do some of it with with something else. I don't know.
Well, it at least differentiates from the green. So hopefully that's. Hopefully that's good enough. Sorry about that. Are y'all all asleep? Nobody's chatting. That's okay, but if you're asleep, I can get off. Now we're getting into one of the problems with um, having these little bits of space here. It's hard to fill in those tiny little bits. Tony says, not yet. Well, I guess I haven't finished my job then. Sorry, I'm having a very real coughing fit. Well, <coughs> so 
Sorry. <coughs> oh, goodness. Okay, we're going to call that spot filled in. Oh. Let's see if we can find some more blue and just get a little bit more up to this hill. And then we're going to start filling in with the green stuff for the... That's very pale. Some green. We could use some of this too. Or this. Or this. Hmm. I think this and this might be fun um, to fill in for the green. What do y'all think? This is really pale, though. But there's not enough of this by itself. We could do some little, just little bits of stuff, you know, different stuff everywhere. Um it would look kind of weird if I um, did, you know, I think I need some more sky filled in before I add, um, Anybody got an opinion? Anybody got an opinion? Okay, no, that is the tree. We don't want to add more tree. We could make some purple sky. <laughs> oh, darker. Like these things for the tree. Um, I'm trying to think of if I wanted to fill in some more sky bits. So do the greens come back and fill with something else? Or do I put more sky in all over the place and then add the green? I think that's what I'm going to do. Do you think this purple will be good for the rest of the sky? Trying to see what else I might have. I have a little bit. Let's see how much of this I've got. This is that yarn that just changes and changes. So I don't know. Okay, where's it? There's the end. Woo! Okay, we're going to have to cut it. It will make it stormy. Okay. Okay. Here's some this light blue.
Okay, I'm going to put some of this light blue in there. Um, and then we'll add the purple. And I'm going to put the light blue like right here and right here. And then we'll add some purple in and then the green. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's start over here. Whoops. I wanted that to stay behind there. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. I'll go one more here and then I'll go up and grab that one and then we'll be. problem with this one is when you're in tight spaces this needle um, has a fat head that doesn't want to um, always cooperate
Okay. I'm just trying to put some kind of a, like a transition from the blue to the purple. I don't know if it's necessary. <clears throat> I don't know if it's necessary, but, but I'm going to do it anyway, because this is all just play. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to do one more line like this, and then I'm going to try to just go up here and kind of outline this in the blue before I go to the purple. Because we're going to, we're not going to be able to go all the way up with the purple and fill in like this. Here's my fork. Here we go. Let's go ahead and go across. And then we'll go up again. Okay, we're going to do that one more time.
Good night, Tanya. We're about to we're about to stop here soon. <laughs> we'll work on Lee's next time. <coughs> um I do want to do a little bit of this purple just for fun. This is some of Hannah's first um, spindle spun, hand spun, back when she was like 10 or 11. She did this, and when she got older and was doing better work, she didn't, she didn't want to see it anymore, so she gave it to me. <laughs> oh, so it'll be fun to weave it into this. If I can find a... Let's, let's start with something that's a little smaller so it's easier to get on the on the needle. We're going to have to use this needle because the smaller needle um, there's no way you can get it around this. So Okay, with this, we're going to go, um, it's real, I don't know if you can tell what color it is. Um, it's light and dark purples. We're just going to use one thickness of it because it's so much thicker than everything else anyway. Excuse me. This is probably going to end up looking really weird, this whole little thing. <laughs> um. Now, this may end up being too fat for this warp, and it may not cover the warp, um, which is something I didn't think about when I um, talked about using it. So, we'll have to see. Okay, maybe it'll work. Okay, we're going to go on up. Because this is big and...
All right, let's see. Okay, we're going to try to go ahead and go across and then back one more time. We're going to stop right there and just do a little bit more right here. Um. Okay, now we're going to go up. I think we're going to have to do this a little bit at a time because it's put so much pressure on the warp, yarn, warp yarns to pull it through. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Our stormy sky. <laughs> oh, it's weird. It's going to be weird, y'all. You still with me? I don't know if we're going to get through here or not. Let's see. Okay. Oops, sorry. Got to try to find someplace sturdy to hold on to. <laughs>
All right, we're going to go all the way across here if we can. And then go to the other side. Come out right here. Now we're going to work some purple right up in here. Oh, thanks, Gail. I just now saw that you liked the light blue in there. I'm glad to hear that because it almost looks like there's a lake. Um, I don't know. The whole thing's kind of weird. So we're going to do the best we can with it. And hope that the purple looks good to everybody because cause that's what we got now. Okay. No, nope, we're going to go right here. <clears throat> And then we're going to push that blue down and go around the blue. Sometimes when you're doing this, you're just kind of um, just filling in the space that you've got. And um, kind of making it work. We're just going to go around that um, that blue now.
Oh, come on. Good night, Gail. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm probably not going to stay on a whole lot longer. I know y'all are probably getting tired of this. and um, My back's beginning to get a little tired from bending over this table. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in this um, here. Just one more line, and then I'm going to go over here and put some in. And um, that way we can put some leaves um, in this space here. Because we want to have some purple everywhere, but we also want to be able to have room, leave room for leaves. So I'm going to do some purple here. And then that's when I run out of this, that's what I'm going to stop tonight. And um,
Oops, wait a minute. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Good grief, y'all. I'm sorry. We're almost through here. Oops. Oops. <laughs> To get back out, must be getting tired. We're getting there, y'all. Ten of you are diehards, and you're still here. I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed. And I appreciate you sticking with me this long.
We're almost there. Let's go to a smaller needle here. Where is my smaller needle? There we go. Okay, well, this is what we did today, and um, we'll work on it some more next Monday, and we'll work on, um, we'll work on this little loom a little bit, and I'll have yarn so that we can work on the, the big, um, frame loom too, so. So we're going to work on three different, three different things uh, next week. Any small and big, a <laughs> little bit of everything. So, uh, thank you all for being here tonight and being with me while I weave. I had so much fun, and um, I think this is going to be pretty. So, uh, God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. Good night's rest and a great day tomorrow. See you at 2 o'clock at Tanya's channel um, where we start our coloring project. Bye-bye.